All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan, and hopefully all of you had a uh, very productive weekend or a relaxing one. I certainly have. Uh, I can't even imagine. But basically, um, uh, what have I been up to? Well, obviously, I've been working on uh, the game, right? But I've been just mostly been doing uh, hiring hiring artists, right, to do the concept art, the logos, all this shit. So I have almost all of it done. Then I filed a copyright with the U.S. Copyright Office, and I could I just give myself a couple days off. Um, I think I'm gonna maybe try to uh, improve some of the turret assets. So instead of using like the built-in stuff, I'll try to get like at least a couple of like the Marines and shit. Um, and then yeah, the guy who made the tower defense module. Let me actually see. Um, TDK Unity Asset Forum. 4.0. Let me see. Uh, that's not it. All right. Yeah, because the guy, uh, I don't know, something happened to him, and like he just stopped her spot. What? Okay. Um, search. Oh, great. Uh, well. Oh, there's the search button, I hope. Search Unity Tower Defense Kit. Um, great. That's totally not right. Let me see. Is it this one? Oh, wait, actually, no, it's not simple TDK. Ah. I want to try and see I can find it, because I want to see if he actually responded. Oh, I could have used this guy's tower defense kit, but there's a lot less uh, reviews for it. Tower defense kit. Oh, I gotta admit, though, it looks pretty sick. Oh, that's the RTS battle kit. Yeah, I'm not making a uh, RTS game. Not, not only is it like high skill ceiling, but it's very resource uh, intensive. It's very expensive and it's very uh, anti casual, which is why you don't see too many. Uh, whatchamacallit, ah, oh, so there's that, uh, huge sci-fi turret pack, oh yeah, actually, maybe I do want to get this, open link a new tab, let's see, I'm just gonna put it open in, uh, thing over, oh, that's right, I have it saved on my Internet Explorer, I just go directly, <sighs> okay, alright, oh, but some of these packs look pretty good, though, yeah, especially this huge sci-fi turret pack. All right, let's see. Song Tang back. Um, let's do refresh. No. Yeah, he, he the guy literally disappeared, which is a problem for me because I really could use his help once I need to figure out the saving portion. But yeah, there's that. Okay, now I gotta refresh all these pages. Um, yeah, and then I've been working on that. And then I've been working on my cryptocurrency. Uh, it's basically up and running after like a lot of headaches. Right, I mostly just you know, got the outsourcers, and it's just so much better. Then Mitch just told me that he's still working on the bug fixes, so... I don't know, he'll have something by Sunday, but it doesn't look like the JFC coin swap is going to be happening anytime soon. So, simply because of, like, this, pro this the, the help council bug seems to be a lot more problematic than before. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, I'll probably just release on BTC Pop, because it's cheap, right? Um... I don't know, maybe I could, like, ideally I would just maybe come up with another two grand and then list on Crex first so I could get everything started. But it's just way too much of a commitment. So I'd rather just try to raise money on BTC Pop first, see how it goes, and then put it on Crex. It should work, so I'll have more details about that when, you know, I actually pay the listing fee. Right now the only problem is the, uh, because it's a fork from Blackcoin, apparently there's like a minimum difficulty of 65,536, which is normally pretty good, but it's just a problem in the very beginning when you're starting the coin. So, like, the blocks are not processing at one one per minute. It's more, but it's, it seems to be improving. I'm still staking, so, yeah. So we'll do that, and I'll just, because if this experiment works, I'm definitely going to just make a bunch of coins. So in addition to whatever the hell happens here, you know, we'll finally have our uh, stability. So we'll have these high stake, high APR coins making us money, and then we'll have the stable coins. Um, 
that I'm creating. So, and then uh, we should be pretty tight. And then we can just, you know, basically get ready for this uh, bull run that's finally happened. So, um, and there's probably other shit too. I've been playing Shop Titans as well. So, there's still a lot of that. All right. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches have not been released for this week, but I imagine it's going to be a lot higher. I already noticed that there are more views already on my uh, YouTube videos. Of course, it's always under reporting over here. People really uh, get kind of annoyed with this China stuff too. It's like unless I'm like bashing China, then like I get a couple of downvotes. Uh, I've actually been watching a lot of like Chinese perspective videos today just to see what people are actually thinking about China from like a much less hostile, but like. Hey, here's you know China doing this stuff. You know this is why you should be worried, kind of stuff. So it's definitely more neutral. Um, uh, well, that being said, I do get annoyed, and yeah, I mean everyone, including China, is probably making the same mistake that I've always complained about. It's you know you're you're, you're being too extreme. You know it's uh, it's kind of funny too because they're just mimicking kind of like what Donald Trump's doing, and it's like clearly it's not working. But I don't know. I haven't finished reading, uh, listening, watching all the YouTube videos. So. Uh, but you know, I don't have an opinion just yet. But yeah, China's been uh, under the radar, been building a lot of shit because everyone's too concerned, which is you know, orange man bad. It's kind of it's kind of ridiculous, you know. So anyway, uh, Bitcoin's at uh, let's see, sixty three point one percent dominance. Twenty four hour volume is a whopping one twenty eight one twenty one point eight billion. So finally, we're seeing some life, and it's like Tuesday morning. So I know this is definitely good. Still not enough though. This, actually, this is surprisingly low. Um, I consider this like the normal average. So, I guess the people. I guess once Google releases the search data, I'm actually curious to see who's driving this. Is it rich people or is it normies or a combination of the two? Because this is not. This doesn't justify enough of the massive price movement. So, I'm gonna probably lean towards 75% rich people and 25% normies. I guess getting back into crypto. Uh, but we'll have to see. Bitcoin 11,100 essentially. Looks like it went down a little bit. It's now going back up. Uh, Litecoin, thank God, is uh, now $54. It's up 11.48%. Uh, so this is very good. So now I'll be uh, well back on my way to becoming a millionaire. If I do nothing, obviously I'm going to keep doing something. Because I don't want to just be a multi millionaire. I could probably, if I play my card right, maybe I could get close to 10 million bucks. Like, I could do a lot with that. You know? I mean, I can already do a lot with a million, but not enough. But 10 million, yeah, that basically puts me in a power position at this point. Especially now that I'm listening and watching all these videos. Like, it's not enough to be rich. You have to actually start getting your own fucking goons into the politics. It's so aggravating. But you, either you do it or some other asshole does it, and then they'll run you over. And it's very bad. But, you know, that's just... Just, it's just the nature of things. And, you know, concerning the alternative, which is all out war, like, you know, back in the Roman days, yeah, this is actually pre preferable. Um, oh, that's the other thing, too. Uh, I'm trying to actually distance myself more from the Groyper uprising simply because I'm beginning to question the people leading it, like, in terms of their Christian morality. Um, so, uh, so, one of them, interestingly enough, was a guy named Jacob Lloyd, who was close friends, apparently, with the leader of the group uprising and then he made a like stupid retweet comment that really pissed off the leader and then he blocked him and, and then i'm like he was your best friend for like seven years or whatever and he just instantly blocked without even talking to you granted your tweet was dumb but why would he do that and it just made me realize that i don't even want to want to mention this asshole's name the, the one guy that i would permanently blacklist and never talk to again like he's not welcome in any of my shit because i think he's actually evil and a deceiver. Uh, he's very good at, <clears throat> good at it too. His negative influence has already taken over Mike Surge as as and definitely has uh, affected uh, the leader of the group or uprising. So you know the task now falls to me to restore this country. And uh, yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. So I mean, at this point, I'm like, I guess we should have to just do everything now. Kind of like what I'm doing now in my game, you know. So. But with that being said, uh, I don't know. I still I still have to go through the data because I have so many things going on in my head right now. And um, 
I don't know. To me personally, it may not be so bad that Joe Biden wins the re-election, even though it's going to be very bad for everyone. Uh, on the other hand, as I'm learning now with watching the you know China perspective videos, every time like something bad happens to China, they're actually able to flip it around because that's Chinese martial art or really Asian martial arts, right? You use your punch strength against themselves, and or you come up with some other way to get around the problem. Right. Naturally, I'm already doing this with the computer programming because that's all that I have. That's all that I do. Sometimes I have to brute force it, which sucks. But sometimes I like, OK, I can't fix this bow. Let me just try something else. And then I try that something else. And it's like, yeah, it's not my original um, intent, but it works. So, you know, so, you know, a good example would be the Trump tariffs. Right. I thought that actually would hurt China. It actually helped China. But hilariously enough, I don't want to get into the whole because I have spent it was a one hour long video. I don't want to watch a bunch of other videos. Um, but yeah, basically what all China did was basically just sell more of their shit to everywhere else in the world. And then they said, you yeah, well, know, go fuck yourself, you know, to, to America. And so it's like it, it had no effect. In fact, it, uh, people who did not like China, like Vietnam and I think Malaysia, actually now have deeper ties with China because American tariffs actually inadvertently hurt other countries and pushed other countries towards China. So it, was, it completely backfired. But it doesn't feel like it because here in America it seems like we're getting money, I guess, from China tariffs. So as usual, the, uh, the answer some, lies somewhere in the middle, but it, it's not absolute. Um, you know, if it were me in charge, would I do the tariffs? I mean, I would need more info. All right. I would probably do lighter tariffs, uh, but I also, but I also, but I also have empathy. So I would focus more on like, oh, look at all these people going towards China. I would focus more on that rather than the punitive tariffs, right? But because Trump doesn't have empathy, you know, well, he he, he just does that stupid blood, uh, brute force method, brute force method that he's so used to doing because it worked it for him in his life, so. Oh well. Anyway, dog coins at three ninety eight point three million market cap, so everything's looking pretty good. I mean, we're basically making money, uh, or it's getting back to making money. Yeah, I should say. Uh, looks like the markets are down today. Twenty six thousand four twenty eight. So stocks fall. A stimulus talks. Earnings roll on. Do nothing isn't good. Retirement. GDP on point five could hurt low income families. So as usual, the usual crap. Just. Republicans bad, Republicans bad, blah, 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 blah. This doesn't look consistent. Like, why is Eben and Remble? Well, Eben should be up because crypto is up by a lot. But Re why is Remble up? Shouldn't it be going down? No, this is not a bug. It's only up a little bit, but that's kind of interesting. Uh, but it does make sense because... Do they even have anything here? I don't want to dig back in because I already rambled on long enough. But basically, their their GOP is putting on another round of stimulus. So basically, it'll be the same as before. You get twelve hundred dollars, twenty four hundred bucks. Um, I'm hearing a lot of conflicting info, mostly negative, of course. Uh, but yeah, it's just the same shit as last time. So and the last time, a lot of people were unhappy. So I guess that's what it is. But I'm gonna get my twelve hundred bucks if if what I'm reading from CNBC is true, because that's where I. It's on my Twitter profile, so, but I mean, I don't know if you go there, so, but yeah, basically, twelve to twenty-four hundred bucks. I'm definitely gonna be using it towards either cryptocurrency or probably furthering development of my game, which is almost done, essentially. Uh, provided I'll be able to figure out how to get the save function to work. Uh, here we go. That. So yeah, there's not really much here. It's just a lot of noise. And now that I'm watching these China videos, I re I just realized just how bad American media really is. Like th these fake news terrorist pieces of shit really are harming America because it's not only filling everyone's heads with like nonstop nonsense. Like oh, Trump said bad shit on Twitter. You know, it's people don't actually know what's going on in the fucking world, especially when it comes to China. And basically when. You know, when things start heading south, if they trends continue, yeah, everyone's going to need a scapegoat. So it's like, these are just all bad, evil people, and, and they need to be fucking dealt with. Right? We're going to have to take their jobs, put them in jail, take away their businesses, whatever it fucking takes, you know, so. But that's just how it goes. Anyway, JMC's at 7 to 9, since we're not going to be doing the swap for a while, because we're still waiting on the fucking code to work, and it's just 
proven to be really problematic, then you know, I'll be here for a while. Four four coins been hurt pretty badly due to just crypto going up, right? So exotics go down, majors go up, that sort of thing. So four four is now down to one eighty two to two hundred. Two by two coin has definitely been taking a massive pounding. Now it's at thirty five to thirty seven. Now I'm seeing more buy orders though, so hopefully it'll free fall will stop for a little bit. Rix is doing okay, but still kind of not immune either. It's at one fifty to one seventy. So one of the things about uh, the new crypto that I'm creating, that well, I've already created, is that it's just a flat 100 uh, coin reward for any block that you fund. So it's not percentage based. So it's going to be similar to like Blackcoin and Bitbean, which is basically a fork of Blackcoin, right? So I looked at the coin market cap of it. Uh, coin market cap Blackcoin. So. And this is the reason, and this is exactly the reason why I decided to do it this way. Black coin, bit bean cash, coin market cap. I want you to look at this coin market cap. So when this thing loads, okay, let's just get night mode on. Ah, this is sorry blinding me. All right. This has been around for like what several years along with Bitbean. Bitbean was actually, it used to be called Bitbean, but now it's called Bean Cash. This used to be one of the original proof of stake coins that I staked, which I eventually, of course, dumped in favor of 808 coin. Even before that. Uh, so look at the market cap <clears throat> 1.65 million. And this is after all that's happened up until this point. Right, it's got a supply of 3.719 billion. Blackcoin has 2.6 million market cap and a circulating supply of 60 million and 93,864. Because they, because every every block you find uh, Blackcoin is 1.5. That's the flat reward. It's just flat 1.5 black coins. That's a very little. Uh, here for Bean Cash, it's a thousand flat. So the uh, inflation control is very, very solid. So the reason why I obviously did this, well, A, because, because I'm using wallet builders, uh, and they're definitely active, because that's, that's how they design their coin. They also want to do a master node coin, which I was like, I don't want to deal with master node crap. You know, I'll just stick with black coin. Um, but uh, yeah, the market cap is a lot more stable and a lot higher here, as opposed to, you know, our cryptos here. So uh, what, what, have, what have I always taught is once in a while occasionally test your assumptions. So in this case the assumption I was running on obviously was I want to make the most money, yeah, jack up that APR, do a percent base APR, which we now have. But what's the problem? Stability. So I was like, okay, can I get maybe something a little different, right? I want more stability but still some kind of profit. That's why I'm going with, you know, the wallet builders. Plus, it's cheap and it takes a lot of load off of uh, Mitch to do uh, hardcore programming, which is what he's doing. So, I already have the logo done. The Twitter is already made. I just have to wait on the fucking blockchain to continue minting blocks so I can actually get it to a minimum of 30 blocks per hour. Right now, I'm doing because it started off with and it's getting better. It started off with like zero to two and a half blocks per hour. Now I, I seem to be getting it to three to eight. Sometimes I can go up to 12, so it's definitely getting better. So maybe in a week or two, week or two, I can uh, release the coin. Um, yeah, so that's that. And I'm curious to see how well, how well a new fixed proof of stake a reward coin can do in an environment like this, right? Because we don't have the bear market, right? The bear market's over. It's been over for a while, right? Now we're at the very, they we're basically at like phase one of like the bull run, of the Bitcoin and crypto bull run. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to pan out. Uh, bullshit, bullshit. Uh, okay, so Forbes is uh, keeping you poor. Uh, Max Kaiser, Bitcoin will hit 20, correct, then hit six figures, Max Kaiser, see, this is, this Max Kaiser, see, this guy was trashing Bitcoin, and then now he's saying he's going to go to the moon, it's like, it, it's, I can, 
like I don't understand why more people don't get more annoyed with like new shit. It's like I, I don't understand. So I don't see anything new here. Um, let's take a look. Now again, alright, and then we're gonna finish it on stupid Donald Trump. See what what later what latest disaster he's up to. I still need him to win re-election, but I have like zero morale for this dumb asshole. One of the largest Bitcoin, but I will be fair. But to be fair, he has been he does he is on a redemption arc. The problem is he's waited way too late to do anything about it. Kind of like Kanye West. Now there still might be a chance that he could still win re-election, but I don't know. It, it, funny enough, it actually depends more on Kanye West and his ability to siphon the black vote away from Joe Biden. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. My largest Bitcoin wallet on record. Just, okay, I don't care. Uh, no, we don't. Tony Vay says rapid Bitcoin rise, new all time. I like it. Crypto King overcomes one final heart. Okay, so he's just whatever. Um, Thirty-five million retail institutional traders. Total value locked in DeFi hit staggering four billion. So there's actually no real news. It's just people that have to finally decide. You know what? Let's just buy cryptocurrency. It works for me. All right, so Trump's still hovering around the 20 to 23 mark, currently at 21% down, and Kanye West has been demoted back down to 1%. Some say he's at 2%, but... All right, let's just see what he's rambling about. Um, so yeah, trying to make that I'm raising pretty right here. That is a lie. Uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Don't care. Liberal privilege. No, don't care. Phil Democratic Media is my work, Kelly Mayor, well, the wall and order must be maintained. This press announcement kind of, of Doc has formula on Facebook and Facebook took it down shortly after NY2. Evan Cosper, who career was removed, used to work for Senator Boxer. Uh, yeah, oh, so now you're all of a sudden concerned about censorship by big tech. Well, maybe you should have done something about it, because, I don't know, you're the President of the uh, United States. So it's going to watch Twitter, so-called China, where so many try about me, I never a good one, they look for anything, they're fine, blah, 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 yeah. Well, how about you fucking do something instead of complaining? It's like, this is... That's why I'm so annoyed with this idiot. Fake news, Mary, is already fake, you want to ask me? Ah, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Alright, so he's retweeted this. Okay. Uh, hydroponic, dinosaur, okay. All right, so there's definitely competing narratives. One says it doesn't work. This one says it does. All right. Uh, wow. This is the, f so if you remember, this is actually pretty significant. Trump basically ditched Steve Bannon, and now he's retweeting him. So now... Trump's realized maybe I should have stuck with Steve Bannon. Of course, he still has this uh, annoying anti-China stance, but um, no, what can I say? You know, uh, well, Trump's a boomer, so I'll just go along with everything that the you know who tried that's actually in control of America is telling him. So, yeah. Adrian Cohen uh, took so much blood for saying. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, all right. So basically, it's just mostly coronavirus stuff. Uh, Texas has a decline in new cases as well. It's also RIV capacity, like Florida, things look better. Obviously, there are still a few also grab, even things are... Okay, so this is one good thing. Trump is taking the coronavirus stuff pretty seriously, again. Uh, and he's specifically pushing back against the, oh, no, oh, there's so many cases thing. So, all right. So the good news is Trump is at least trying, even though he has a couple of, you know, flaws. You know, especially with the whole anti-China thing. I'm kind of curious to know if Trump even realizes, hey, this anti-China stuff is kind of bullshit. Because America's burning, but yet I'm kind of complaining about China. So I, I don't know. You know, I don't know what's up. I honestly don't know what's inside his head. Uh, but whatever it is, it's uh, too little, too late. And I don't know. Maybe Trump. Should, I mean, Trump obviously should just keep trying, right? I'm not even sure I'm going to go out and vote just as a symbolic gesture, because you know I'm still in New York City, so the Democrats always win anyway. But you know, it's like uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, again, a lot can happen, but they're not. We're never going to have a debate between Trump and Joe Biden person to person. So I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to see. If you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. I guess we're going to make this the thumbnail. Make sure you smash that subscribe on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. Because now that you know the bull run's finally getting started up again, you know, assuming there's no other stupid black swan globalist bullshit thing to happen, yeah, things are going to be looking pretty good. Um, whether Trump wins re election or not, that's up to Kanye West and God and no one else, essentially. You know, Trump will, should, of course, still keep fighting, but. Again, because he's waited, he's waited way too late to do anything uh, about it. All he's doing is just simply pushing back the inevitable. He's going to need somebody else to help him. Again, that's going to be Kanye West and God. You know, like this is why you have to always be proactive, right? You don't want to be in a situation like Trump where you wait till it's the last minute. Like my family used to yell at me when I was a kid: "Don't waste, don't procrastinate, don't waste till the last minute," right? Yeah, like, this is what fucking happens, you know? So, you know. But anyway, um, I'll see you all tomorrow's video. There's no real actual news. Uh, and I kind of just kind of went over it fast because I want to get back to doing my stuff. stuff. Um, but uh, with that being said, yeah, crypto's good. The stimulus is back on its way. Uh, Trump's re-election chances still remain pretty bad, right? But it's not over yet. But it's uh, getting pretty close to over. Um, yeah. Uh, and then I have a lot of research to do. So I will see you all in tomorrow's video. I'll let you know when the coin's live. Right? And then, uh, yeah, you know, we got a lot of projects. Always have something new. There's one thing I have, I have learned from everybody and from history is you always want to create something new. You never want to get complacent. Right? China right now is, is the opposite. They're not being complacent. But... You know, once they become isolated, it's kind of a problem, right? They're going to repeat the same mistake. America, interestingly enough, uh, needs some isolation, but it can't be like that forever either. So, yeah. But anyway, I don't, want to, I don't want to keep rambling. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just make this the thumbnail. Let's get rid of that guy's ad so it doesn't show up on the thumbnail. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, well, I'll have to leave it. There, crap. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Just as I say that, I realize there's an ad on the right-hand side, but eh, what, what are you going to do?